All right, so this is just a big stream right now for nobody. All right, so I said something last night that I was considering streaming the other three ZT worlds. I got inspired to do that after after the the race of town that we did back in March. But I, but I figured, just for completion's sake, I'd have a stream of this. Even if no one shows up, I... In fact, I didn't even bother advertising this one. But... Yeah. So let's just get this underway. As you... As you can see, if you were there for the race, you need to get these purple keys. And this is explaining the mechanics of health. And, uh, and yes, gems are the only way you can get more health. I have done... I have beaten town a few times without saving once, and I entertained the idea of doing all four worlds without saving. I came close with dungeons. I haven't tried city or caves doing that. Also, also that was years ago, and uh, I still haven't gotten around to it. Oh well. These, those messages at the bottom are always going to come up the first time you do them, whenever you put up the game. As usual, the first place to stop is the armory. I mentioned in the race before that I still think that the normal way you're supposed to approach getting this key is to push these boulders, these are boulders, that, and grab it, get it. But as you saw, as I told the one, you could just have the guy push it out. The guy doesn't do anything at all. He's just there to be a jerk. You... I guess it's there if you need it, but you really don't. And, uh... Yeah, Led Zeppelin! There would have You're not supposed to know this yet, but... Amazel. Get it out of the way now. That is the code to the vault. And, uh, this also exists. There's no reason for it, because you can just solve it from the other side. It'll just do it since it's here. Oops. Keyboard. Yeah, these arrow keys are dying on me. Shame, too. 
his keyboard's like the only real way to play ZZT. I tried it with control. Actually, I don't think I did try it with control, but whatever. Anyway, I'm getting this up. Anyway. You only get one shot at this, so uh, be careful. I cannot stress it enough that you can hold up the seven keys, one for each color, but you cannot have more than one of the same color. So you have to cash it in as soon as you can. While you cannot walk through water, you can shoot past it. Bolts can go through it. It's still a physical boundary that you must uh, ground. Tread carefully. You wait too long, uh, north south slider will block your ingress. Uh, Alright, so the left and right. The left and right sliders can only be pushed left and right. The up and down sliders can only be pushed up and down. Boulders can be pushed in any direction. You probably could have guessed that yourself, but whatever. And as you can see, um, the board state that you left it in resumes where it left off when you re-enter the room. The way that some boards are structured is that some, some, uh, like, uh, yeah, I, for, for, so, at some rooms you're not allowed to shoot at all. And, um, uh, because, um, that would break this room entirely, because you could just shoot at the bullets to block them. It'll do prison. And, uh, if you didn't get the hint that, uh, you can't have more than one key, this room flat out tells you. And um, and so you and now um so yes you can boards can be edited you can edit how many bullets you can have on a screen at a time for whatever reason town and city have a thing for having rooms where you can only fire once and which is a huge problem. Because, um, if you fire a bullet in a very wide screen and it misses, you are completely defenseless until it goes away.
not much else to say about this room in particular, but, uh, centipedes, um... They... How they work is, um, if you, if you shoot them down the middle, they split into two. And they can combine. Like, uh, if they're close, if, like... If, like, a segment and, uh... The head are close by, they can become one. And their moving pattern is, um, they will more often than not turn when they hit a boundary, such like a wall, or even a bullet. And this is something I didn't know about until I read it up on the ZZT wiki. If you shoot a- if you shoot a centipede from behind, you get more points. And we're pretty much done with this room. And now we're trapped until we, uh, find a way out. Some rooms can also have time limits. I think this is the only instance of it happening in the original Four Worlds. If it runs out, it's the standard, you take 10 damage. And the timer just resets. And uh, if, it, if, it, if there's only 10 seconds left, it actually plays the like part of the Jeopardy theme for some reason. Anyway, lions. Um, when you when you put when you put in enemies in a room, you can actually modify their um their behavior. Sometimes lions will just wander aimlessly with with no regard for what's happening around them. Or they can try to follow you around like that one's doing right now. Also, don't ask me what why that why that says time there. Gems do not give you more time. They just don't. Who is this gentleman? I am curious as, as to what number that is. I'll have to look that up. When I'm done here. Anyway, let's free him. And and yeah, that that's how you find out where the combination is. Now we have this room. I'll just demo off what this room is. So, this is an introduction to stars, an ammunition exclusive to objects and enemies. What they do is, they hound you constantly, you cannot, well, you can, you can try to get around them, but, um, more are just gonna come.
And they last a pretty long time, so you can't really wait them out. What you can do is try to trick them into... Yeah. They will die if they, um... Run into a breakable wall. Thing is, um... Again, more are gonna come. And, um... As you can see, um... You can't really... Resist them. They have comp They have... Control, just complete control over whatever it is they're pushing. You cannot, you can't push back. And so yes, these objects deal is whenever they're caught in a bomb's explosion radius, they activate. So you can try to strategically bomb the breakable walls because obviously you're not allowed to shoot in this room because it would break the room otherwise. The it, the problem is, um, I don't think there's not a way. There's no way to uh, get to the key without activating at least one. So you do need to prepare for that. And I guess I'll say another thing that rooms can do is that normally, um, when you get hit. You, um, you just stay where you are. S rooms can be set to teleport you back to where you entered the room. Whenever you get hit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, up. Uh, oops, I forgot the cash in the key. Show me. Ah. Cool. Let's come back here later. I am very smart. While we're doing that, let's just do this. So yeah, you can you pretty much get the gist of it, the, the gist of the sliding puzzle. However, you do want to be careful about where, where you want to push because um, if you push too, like you could that third one, third one from the bottom, uh, you could push it all the way to the right, but then you won't be able to access the one at the bottom. So you generally wanted to do the leftmost one. Last. Because, because, yeah, you will be screwed otherwise. Uh, my bet, I meant the top two. Sorry, I just woke up. And felt the need to do this. Here are some bears. They, they only move towards you. But that depends on the proximity of where you are compared to them. And as you saw, they can run through breakable walls and die. Ruffians are the fastest enemy. They, um, they move, stop, and move again. And, uh, you are seeing what I talked about in action. Um. 
Yeah. Like lions, they can be modified to move towards you more often. And now the most dangerous enemy in the game, tigers, because they can shoot. These tigers have guns. Because why wouldn't a tiger have guns? Thankfully, your bullets more often than not have priority over theirs. So they're not as dangerous as they could be. But, um... Yeah. They are... Still, um, pretty vicious if you're, um, if you don't have the resources to take them on. I will also, me also mention this, um, you can also, you can modify tigers and spinning guns to fire stars instead of bullets. Thankfully, the four worlds never do this, ever. Stars are used very, very sparingly. For good reason. Now then, let's leave. Cash in the key that we forgot to cash in. The thing I keep stressing that I then I've just forgot myself. And yes, that and yeah, that that ammo pack exists only to do that. To ensure that you can leave. Assuming you don't waste it like a dum dum. Alright, now, let's get the f get the key. For realsies. I think the, the actual strategy is to use bombs far away from the point. You can have quicker access to... Look at that, we didn't take a single hit from this room. Okay, now we're done with prison for real. up the forest. For first, a little intermission. I'm actually going to go in here, even though there's absolutely no reason to do this.
Z. Yo, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um. I don't have a key on me, so we're just going to. Yeah. And be sure not to grab that one. This is the reason this cave exists, is to advertise actual caves of ZZT. That doesn't really do anything. If it did, I don't think, I don't I think it works anymore. Anyway, that's it. For this cave. It is just a promo, nothing more. And if you're wondering what the hell I just did there, I held shift, then question mark, and zap deletes whatever's in front of you, up, down, left, right. Hmm, that was weird. Anyway. Forest can be walked into to clear it away, but it, do, it is a boundary, and, and it does block bullets and all the like. That is invincibility. Best song in the universe. Those are pushers, they uh, constantly move whatever, whatever direction they're facing. Like stars, you cannot resist them. This, this is a pretty annoying room, because if you get hit, you get sent back. And duplicators will just keep making more. There is a way to disable these duplicators, but, it doesn't, but it's not really useful until dungeons. Actually, a pretty clean uh, clearing of that room. You do you, jazz man. Sorry, not much else to say about this mixer. I think it's pretty self-evident. But just these transporters are self-evident.
And that is it for the forest. Don't ask don't ask me why um the fake floor there is. I mean I know why that is, but it's complicated to explain. And I don't think I can do it succinctly enough. It's just an issue with the with the engine, nothing more. It doesn't break the game or anything. It's just Anyway, now for the final part. Well, okay, the final key we need to do like this. As you can expect, blink walls will hurt you. By this point, you'll have those ten gems. And you cannot leave until you get the scepter of lots and lots of power. Now, now that we're in the castle, a nice break from the from the norm, you, you, you may shoot more than once. And, uh, you kinda, and you kinda need to because there's a lot of enemies here. If you know where to go, these aren't that bad. But, uh, you can't really save this room from being bad, unless you know a trip with objects that can, uh, make these invisible walls much less annoying to deal with. Not every room allows you to have more than one bullet in castle, unfortunately. But thankfully, it was just those two centipedes in this room and nothing else.
have not seen the last of invisible walls. I th I don't recall if there are any ones any rooms that are worse than this one, but this is the worst that town has to offer. There is one more room with invisible walls, but um they're um they're almost an afterthought, really. Don't ask me who Bill is. I don't know. You have plenty of margin for error to get into killing these dragons. They can only die from, um... It's songs. Wait, songs played by objects don't really get interrupted unless it's a unless it's a new uh a new command line. Because um you have very limited um space to put in your commands because uh you can't just and you can't just type. Out the thing and uh, have it word wrap. Can't really do that, so your commands have to be short and to the point. there in case you screw up. Uh, that little a little cranny in there. You can push the boulders in if you decide to be a doofus and push them to the left. It's to ensure you don't screw yourself over. This is actually a pretty tricky puzzle. But there's actually more than one way to approach it. First, let's get these out of the way. At least one of them. You want to be careful not to let that, to unlock that pusher too early because it will, um, um, well, that is the case if you decide to, um, jump the gun and, and do this, to the, do this before everything else. As long as that, that north-south slider is in place where it is right now, the pusher will not, um, uh, will not ruin everything for you. And here are those visible walls I was talking about earlier. See, it's the same pattern. And that's the last we'll see of them in town. Let's let it go, do its thing. And there we go, now we have safe passage to the scepter.
very jazzy scepter. I am curious about something, though. Does he still remember that you have the scepter? He does. He doesn't he doesn't take it away from you. And now we're finally in the palace. The last few rooms of the game. We're we're pretty much done, actually. It's just one puzzle room and that's it. Not even a puzzle, it's just Alright, final room. Don't, don't activate all three pushes at once. Otherwise, you can't get in. What you need to do is clear out this room of the tigers. At least, clear what you can of him. And ride on through. And grab the final purple key. And leave. Anything I forgot to mention, um, hopefully I'll remember it for the other three. Look at that, I beat Tim Sweeney. Got him. And yeah, that will do it for this, for this, for this, um, this Snap Decision stream that I didn't tell anyone about. See you later, everyone. Stream over.